time stands still in many of the campus towns and all across this great land is one of the best days of the year for any sport. Saturday at the Final Four, Minneapolis, the Viking ship, all set for a doubleheader. And just a moment ago, an historic moment, the Auburn Tigers take the floor at a Final Four for the first time ever. The first school ever from the state of Alabama to play in a Final Four. They'll be matched up with the Virginia Cavaliers, and what a story they have become. The turnaround from a year ago, and the winners of the Southeast Regional at a Final Four for the first time since 1984. Hello, friends. Jim Nance, Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wolfson, and all the team. And man, is this building alive right now. Yeah, Jim, this day is absolutely everything in college basketball. My favorite. Each team truly believes they have a chance at the big man's. The big man's, okay. <laughs> you know, some like to play slow and some like to woo woo. That's what we got a tug of war tonight. Well, let's start by talking about the Virginia story. We've seen the lows, we've seen the highs, and it is some story. Some story indeed after the ultimate dejection and disappointment from last year. It's a new season for Tony Bennett and his ball club. It's redemption, vindication for Cavalier basketball. They're not just satisfied with being here. They want to win it all. And they know in order to do that, you must have guard, good guard play. And they have two of the best in all of college basketball. Kyle Guy, first team all ACC, found his shooting stroke against Purdue. He moves without the basketball, one of the best. And of course, his running mate, Ty Jerome, he sets the table. He's smart. He's got a great feel for the game. Super competitive. He must be at his best for UVA to advance. Well, you talk about guards. Let me turn it over to our point guard, Mr. Raftery. Auburn's got a pair they themselves. Sure We're going to match here too with two <laughs> others. And ours have speed. They can get up and down the floor with the best of them. Of course, Brown is the guy usually at the end and a recipient of passes by his backcourt mate. Terrific range. He uses bumps to get free. He's got fadeaways. He's got talent. But this is the engine. Garrett Harper, the ability to push the ball, blow by people. He can be devastating in the open floor. Wow. Can't wait to watch him. Yeah, me too. All of us can't wait to get it started. And it's just minutes away. The national anthem, though, is coming up next. Auburn, Virginia, national semifinal number one is next on CBS.